I like shoes. I like art. I decided to do some shoe art. I just love the art of pop artists. So what I chose to focus on was kind of doing a little tribute to Roy Lichtenstein and did a little bit of Roy Lichtenstein inspired art on the shoes. You're gonna need some permanent paint. It's gonna have to be washer and dryer safe if you're planning to do this on things other than shoes. There are so many great colors in this package that it will save you plenty of time mixing. You will hardly have to mix anything. Maybe a few tints, maybe a few shades, but there are 24 colors in here and lots of variety. If you plan to write on your project like I did, you might want to get some paint pens. These are fantastic. They're acrylic, they have a super fine tip and they make writing on objects and fabric a breeze. Totally recommend these. Check out all the colors. I always start off with a rough draft, so you can see that I drew a couple designs and then I practiced drawing this Roy Lichtenstein um, comic girl a couple of times before I actually tried penciling it on the shoe, which I did pencil it on the shoe because it makes it much, much easier to paint inside of a shape. Here's some white shoes. They look like Vans. They don't have to be Vans, but they don't have laces and that's all that matters because it's much easier to dry your design on and paint it when there's not um, laces to have to worry about going around. So you tape off all the places that you don't want the paint to go. Then you can paint your shoe in, draw your designs in pencil and continue painting on top of that. Or just put your design on and then paint around it with the background color afterwards. You can see I filled in all the base colors. Then I moved on to adding the fine lines that give it that comic book effect. I did that last. You don't wanna add any black first. Start with all the base colors first and then work your way from there. Roy Lichtenstein print that I was looking at when I made my shoe art. So credit goes to Roy Lichtenstein for inspiration and a little bit of tribute because I absolutely love Roy Lichtenstein's pop art style. I'm not in love with the fact that he makes all the women in his cartoons seem so helpless and reliant on a man. So my speech bubble is not similar to what his was and you'll see that in the very end. If I could go back and do something different, I would have chose to just leave the shoe white and done my character first, then paint the rest of the shoe blue, only because it was really hard to get the skin tone super bright after having to go over the blue color that I had mixed and painted all over the shoe. So that's something to keep in mind. If you can't get a hold of any paint pens, then I just suggest using a really small number one paintbrush, the smallest that they make to do the super fine lines and just steady your hand by holding the hand you're painting with with the other hand and you should be able to have a steady, nice, even flow when you're trying to get those nice crisp lines. That's the way it should have begun, but it's hopeless. Or how about this one? I don't care. I'd rather sink than call Brad for help. Like, seriously, she'd rather drown? Oh, all right. Oh, the disappointment. Who's on the other end that let you down again, Bertha? M maybe he became ill and couldn't leave the studio. Maybe you should get a new boyfriend. Boom. Boom. <laughs> 